Uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Time to discuss further into uh, laws of logarithms. And now look at the proof for this law, which is ln x power of r. And show that it equals to r ln of x. As part of the video series I've done on laws of logarithms and doing proofs using basic, uh, basically a calculus or integrals and derivatives. And I've also done these proofs actually in my earlier videos, but without using integrals. And those are all in the links below. Basically, I'll recap on these three. I'll basically prove this one. I've done these two previous videos, so make sure to watch those. Basically, if x and y are positive numbers and r is a rational number, basically rational numbers are something like 3 over 4 or like, let's say, 2. Or basically, any number that could be written as a fraction of integers uh, where the bottom isn't 0. So those are all... Yeah, those are all just uh, rational numbers. Uh, basically, uh, then the ones, uh, the laws over here, ln x, y equals ln x plus ln y. Those did that last video, uh, two videos ago. This one, ln x divided by y equals ln x minus ln y. I proved these ones earlier. So I'm going to prove this one right here. So yeah, I'll just write this down. Uh, proof for number three here, ln x power of r equals r times ln x. So the proof of this one, it's pretty straightforward. What we could do is find... Uh, basically, basically the derivative of both of these and compare what they should be. So basically, if we look at d over d of x of both of these ones, so ln, let's go the first one, ln x power of r. This one we know is basically um, the derivative of ln is going to be 1 divided by whatever the number is inside. So it's going to be 1 divided by x power of r. Now we have to use chain rule. So with chain rule, you could take the derivative of the inside function, which is x power of r. And so then by this one, we'll bring the r down. So we'll be by r, bring it down, and that is using basic power rule. It's going to be x power of r minus 1. So now we have r times x, uh, x power of r minus 1, and then divided by x to the power of r. So this is x, and these have the same uh, value right here. x, we could subtract them. Basically, we'll have r, and we'll bring this down, actually. And I'll show you why. We'll get x power of r, and this is a power the same base, so we could just subtract this top one. So r minus r minus 1. So we're just subtracting the top here. And you can learn more about power functions and their properties also in the video links in the description below. Basically, as you see here, now uh, this one will cancel out. So if you subtract, we get basically r. This is going to be x. The r's cancel. And now, obviously, we're going to have this minus of a negative 1. So we'll get basically, we'll cancel out. I'll, I'll, I'll just write it down here r minus r and then plus 1 these cancel so we're just left with r over x so that's the derivative of the, of the left side so now if we take the derivative of this right side right here we'll get d over ln of x dx now this one equals to basically this is just a number right a constant so this one will just leave it out r times the by the derivative of ln x that's just 1 over x or another or just write it there just equals um, basically uh, r divided by x. So this is the exact same thing here. So if this is the exact same thing, then the functions have, have to be the same or separated by a constant. So because of these have the exact same exact same um, derivative. And, and the only way this is possible, like explained in my uh, earlier videos, basically if we have now, now this what this means is we'll have ln of x to the power of r. This has to equal to ln of, I mean, r, power, uh, r times ln x plus a constant. And the reason here, because when you take the derivative of this one, the constant is going to go to 0, and we'll have the exact same thing. So basically, this is saying these functions are separated by any constant number right here. But now, when we have this case, we could solve for this constant by just putting in any value for x. But we know if we put in x equals to 1, we could quickly find what c is. So basically, if we plug that in, we'll have ln times 1 to the power of r equals to r times ln 1 plus c. And now and now basically 1 to the power of r is just 1. And we all know that ln of, of 1 is just 0. You can learn more about this in my logarithmic videos or natural log videos. Basically, this is going to be equal to 0. Equals again 0 times r, that's 0, plus c. So what this means is c equals to 0. So if c equals to 0, this cancels out, and we're left with this bottom part, and that is our proof. And I'll just write that down. Ln x to the power of r equals to r ln x right here. And there is a proof for this logarithmic uh, law, and we just use basic derivatives and integrals here. Anyways, that is all for today. I hope you learned from this video, and like always, you could download 
these exact notes in the in the uh, link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution